I have some very exciting news. Today we are opening a very popular center, the Sculpture Center. Sculpture is when you make artwork that is three-dimensional. Two-dimensional artwork is artwork that is flat, like on a piece of paper. Three-dimensional artwork takes up space. It is not flat. It's got parts that stick out in different directions, like cubes or spheres. Here are some examples of two-dimensional and three-dimensional artwork. This is a very famous painting by artist Grant Wood called American Gothic. This is a statue made by J. Stewart Johnson that looks just like the painting, but in giant statue form. And we're lucky to have it in New Jersey. Because this center is so popular, we're gonna to have to limit how many people can use it at a time. So make sure you're doing your best job listening today, so maybe today can be your turn. Step one for using the Sculpture Center is to gather supplies. Most of the supplies is down here, underneath the shelves, and on the end down there. We have cardboard, we have tubes. We have foam shapes. Sometimes some of the materials change or will not be there the next time. We just use what we have available to us at that time. Other supplies you may need are scissors, tape. You might want to use some hole punches or glue from the collage center. And of course we have the hot glue. Hot glue is good because it is really strong and it dries very quickly, but it is more dangerous to use because it is hot and it could burn you. The very tip right at the end there, the silver part, that's the hot part. So you need to be really careful with that to not touch it with your hands or let it touch other people. You can tell a hot glue gun is hot by touching the top of it. This is actually very hot. I can feel the heat coming off of it. Please be careful with the hot glue guns. I decided to make a pyramid and I'm gonna start with a cereal box. I like this cardboard because it's thin and easy to cut, but I also really like that the inside of the box is this brown with no decorations on it. This brown color is easier to draw and paint on than the other side. I know that pyramids can either have three or four triangular sides and they should all be the same size. In order to draw my triangles the same size, I'm going to use a shape stencil from the drawing center. That triangle looked a little too small for me, so I'm going to actually use the outside of the stencil to make bigger triangles. To make things a little bit easier and so I have less cutting to do, I'm going to put the two triangles up against each other so I don't have to cut that middle line. And then I'm going to cut all the shapes out to assemble my pyramid. After all the triangles are cut out, I'm going to use tape to put them together. But I don't wanna see the tape in my final project, so I'm going to make sure to put the tape on the inside. One rule that we're gonna have in this class is to only take tape the length of your finger. If the tape is too long, it's likely that it will get all tangled and stuck on each other. So let's just use our finger as measurement and not rip pieces of tape that are too long. You can use a bunch of shorter pieces rather than one longer piece. And I should never see you wrapping the tape around something. Okay, now I need a base for my pyramid. I'm gonna use some of the thicker cardboard to do that because it'll be a little bit stronger. Notice how I scooted it over to the side so I only have to cut the cardboard in one place. And I'm using the bigger scissors to cut this cardboard because it will be a little bit easier. 
Now I think I'm going to have to use the hot glue to glue that down because if I use the tape you'll see it and I don't want to see the tape in my pyramid. When using the hot glue gun check and make sure it's hot. Touch the top black area and if that is hot be careful. Don't touch the tip. So I need to put hot glue around the edges of my pyramid to be able to stick the two together. I think it'll be easier to put it on the base rather than that tiny edge on the triangles. When doing this, you're gonna need to work really fast. If you put glue on all the edges at one time, the glue will probably be dry before you get back to the area that you started with. You really do have to work fast. So I'm doing it in sections. I'm gonna just start with one side at a time. You can see I got a little bit of glue on my finger there, but it didn't hurt too bad because it had already dried some. Okay, I'm gonna put glue on each of the sections at a time, carefully gluing them together. If your glue gun stops squeezing out easily, you probably need some more glue. Just get another glue stick and stick it in the hole in the back. You can see that the new glue stick will help push the old one forward and make more glue come out. Make sure you never take the glue stick out of the glue gun once it's in. Please leave it in there. The last step to making my sculpture is to add something on the outside, color it in some way, Paint is a really easy way to do it, especially if I have this brown cardboard on the outside because it holds paint really well. Whatever I choose to make in the Sculpture Center, it must follow a couple rules. It must have your name and the date written on it. It must fit inside of our size tester box. The reason we limit your size is because of storage. If a bunch of people made a lot of big artwork, we wouldn't have anywhere to keep it. But if a bunch of people made artwork just this big, we have plenty of room to store that. Your sculptures must pass the shake test. If we shake it, nothing can fall off. And finally, your artwork should have a skin. We'll talk more about that in a couple days. I don't want you to worry about a skin too much today. It's coming soon. If your sculpture is wet, this is the sculpture drying area. Fourth grade can use the top shelf, third grade, the second shelf, second grade, the second from the bottom shelf, and first grade on the bottom. If you're able to place your clip with your name on it on the sculpture, that's the best idea. So I think I can squeeze it in the corner here. Yep. And then I could place that on the shelf to dry. Tomorrow, Miss Schaefer will take everything off the shelves and put it in the box that has your class's name on it. If your sculpture is already dry or it doesn't have any paint or wet glue on it, you can put it right inside the box. You can skip the drying rack.